everyone. In this video, I will show you how can you utilize ChatGPT to optimize your code, find bugs in your code, as well as to write test cases. So let's quickly jump on to the VS Code as we are going to do this exercise using VS Code and the programming language I am using here is the C Sharp. So in order to get started, first you need to go to view and install the required extension. So the extension name here is ChatGPT. So you may find various extensions with the same name, but the one which I would recommend is by Ali. So let's go ahead and install this. It's going to take a few seconds and okay, so it's done. Now, next thing is I have written here a few lines of code and you can see that this particular code snippet is not very well written. It's not optimized. There is a huge room to optimize this particular code. So how can we do that? So select your snippet, what, uh, whatever you want to optimize. And as soon as you select, you can see that there are additional six options coming over here on the right click. So you can add tests, you can find bugs, you can optimize your code, you can explain what the particular code snippet is doing. You can also use add comments as well as ad hoc prompts. So let me quickly go ahead and click on this option, optimize. Now, as soon as you will optimize, it will ask you to connect to chat GPT. So for me, it has opened up because I have already done it previously. But in case if it's not opening up for you, you can refresh this particular uh, extension and it will work. So click on this login. So it will take you to the browser where you can log in this. Okay, so for here it is logged in, but in case if it's not logging in for you, what you can do is you can go to OpenAI portal, click on try, you can go ahead and log in from here. So once you are logged in, then only you can access this particular extension in VS Code. So make sure that you are not closing your browser because once it is logged out or the chat gpt is not available then vs code can also not access that okay so now let me go ahead and perform the optimization click on optimize and on the left hand side you can see that let me expand it a bit the simplified version of this particular code is this so rather than writing these eight lines you just need to write these three lines so let me grab this you can use this copy and here you can see that these two snippets are doing exactly the same thing so going forward rather than doing so uh, writing so many lines just go ahead and write one single line so this is one thing you can do it next thing let me show you uh, let's say by mistake i have written the same statement again okay so let me select this one here right click and you say find bugs so it will go ahead and identify if there is any bug in this particular code so here it is saying that chat gpt has to return is age valid so these are the two statements and it but obvious that it is not supposed to be because once you are doing return here this particular line of code is unreachable and that's what the chat gpt is explaining you so you can go ahead and remove this okay and in fact i can remove uh, i can replace this code with the one with the suggested one okay so let me try one more thing for you here so right click on this and click on explain so as soon as you will click on explain it will explain you what these three lines are doing here so it is saying that if age is greater than 12 do this otherwise do this so this is the simple explanation because the code here is very simple now i will go ahead and generate some tests so it's going to write some unit test case so here it is assumed that it is c uh, c plus plus but actually it's c sharp so you can go ahead and say that my coding language is c sharp And next time whenever you will generate this test case it will give you the correct one so see as soon as i have provided my language as c sharp the test is totally different it is written in c sharp now 
and whatever the possible test kit it is, is writing but if you want more test cases you can definitely provide your command here that provide me both negative and positive test cases okay so once this is done the only thing which is remaining is the add comments so let it ask to add comments in our code it's gonna take a few seconds again and this is what your comments are so you can simply grab it from here and paste it on the top of your method okay so you can go here let's take everything as it is and paste it over here so this is my code and this is my documentation part so you can see that how easy it is to use chat gpt inside vs code in order to perform so many things now there was one more thing which i think is missing here so add uh, add ad, ad hoc prompt so it is nothing but it will allow you to add prefix to your code so that is i don't find any much use cases of it so let's not cover this but rest all features what i have uh, covered over here are like kind of very useful especially uh, when you are writing uh, code on some existing codes i mean some programmers or your uh, colleagues have written some code and now you are going to update that code in that case you should understand what this particular snippet is doing so i think chat gpt is doing very great job over there and i want you to you all to use it and let me know in comments how it is doing for you if you really enjoyed watching this video then make sure to subscribe my channel and show a thumbs up thanks for watching